Praise God. I'm so excited today to be with you, to be talking to you concerning this word that God gave me this morning. Several months ago, he gave me a vision, and in the vision, I saw torrential rains coming down. And then after the rain, I looked over and I saw the most beautiful waterfalls, and I could hear the water as it trickled over the um, rocks, and I could see all the rocks, and um, it was just absolutely beautiful. And today, God gave me a word, a prophetic word, um, that aligns with this vision, and he wants me to release it into the city of St. John. So here it is. Um, St. John, the wait is over. The rains are here. The drought is over. The weighty presence of God's word is upon you to bring healing, to bring restoration. Look up, look up. Your redemption draws nigh. You have sown in tears. You will reap in joy. Just as Noah built the ark for the saving of his household, I am building again. The spirit of Nehemiah will be felt in your land to bring refreshing, to bring healing. There is a great outpouring of my spirit, of my Holy Spirit, your families, for families to be saved, to come back to Father's house, to awaken to the cry of the children, to awaken to the manifested presence, the power of the living God, the God of generations, the God of covenant blessings. I have promised beauty for ashes. You, you St. John, will be beautiful. The glory of God has risen upon you. For God so loved the world that he gave. For God so loves St. John that he has given you a shepherd to lead. My sheep, my flock, in right ways, in holy ways, in loving ways. So you will never have to be thirsty again. So you can walk in the blessing. So you can live life to its rich treasures. St. John, rise up from the ashes. Be the light set upon a hill. I am causing great joy to flow in your midst. The still small voice of your beloved. Listen, obey, and flow. Flow. Rivers of living water flow. Become the beautiful landmark I am calling you to be. Others will see your beauty. They will desire your beauty. And they will find me. Their God, their Redeemer, the lover of their soul. I am pouring out the washing of the water and the word. Come, be refreshed says your God, the Holy One, the one who was and is and is to come. Whew. Oh, I hope you felt that the way I felt it. Hallelujah. Praise be unto God. God is a good God. He is faithful and just. He is righteous. He is loving and kind and true. And I just really, I want to um, read Isaiah 11 to you. It says, and there shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. He shall delight in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge by what his eyes see, nor reprove by what his ears hear. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor and reprove with fairness for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips. He shall slay the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his loins and faithfulness the belt about his waist. 
Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. God is doing a new thing. This is a new era that we are in. This is unprecedented, unchartered territory that we're stepping into. We are stepping into the flow of the Spirit as never before. We are the sons of the living God. We walk in sonship. We bring kingdom from heaven onto the earth. This is our season and our time and our era to walk as sons of light upon the face of the earth. God is calling forth his bride to rise up. Rise up. Awake out of your slumber. Bring the message of deliverance to the people, to God's people. Praise be unto God, for he is a good father. He is, and he loves so much that he gave his son. I don't know about you. I've suffered loss in my life. But to willingly give the very thing you treasure most. For me, it's the children. I treasure them the most. For me, when I read that prophecy of the rich treasures, I think of my grandchildren. I think of the beauty for ashes that God has given me. And they're so close to my heart. My heart beats for them. And in the city of St. John, families, I've seen this crisis in my own family and other families. And it is a crisis of poverty. It is a crisis of generational poverty. It is a crisis of mindsets that are against the word of God. But God is causing his word to be heard through the land. I believe that as never before. Before. And this is the season and the era that we are entering into. It is a new thing and it is springing forth right speedily. And God has, as a visionary and a home missions heart to the city of St. John, I am calling for people, women, and men of God to rise up and to stand in your position and to work for the kingdom of God, for such a time as this, for the vision that God has given to me is great. It is a great vision. And we need laborers into the harvest. And right now, Father God, I just pray, I command forth laborers into your harvest. I call them, I, yeah, papa, see, yeah. I call them forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Come forth, laborers, into our harvest because it is time to reap this harvest, this great harvest, Lord, that so many mothers like myself have sown in tears for to reap it. And so we just thank you, Father God, that you are just and righteous and kind and gentle and loving. And I'm just thankful, God, that you're calling us by name and you know all that belong to you. And I believe right now that there are sheep that hear your voice and they do not follow any other shepherd, but they follow you, Lord God, for you are the good shepherd, Lord God. And you, you as a good shepherd will flee, feed your flock. And we just thank you for that. So thank you for your time. And I just pray that someone has been ministered to today and that you understand that God is calling you to stand up in your sonship and walk it out, to be the kingdom come to earth for someone else for such a time as this. May God bless you. Amen.